guys, I think it's time. <laughs> Three, two, one. Are you guys ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yay, Christmas background. <laughs> I know it's only November. I don't care. It's been a shit year. Let's start celebrating right now. Cue the brand new Christmas intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel, I am Christmas crazy, and I bring it for everyone to see, because I am not ashamed of who I am, okay? <laughs> I won't keep the lights flashing though, you know, out of your sanity. It's not as epic as I'd like it to be, but you know, can only do so many things in a small room. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the reason that you clicked on this video. Okay, so today I'm gonna be playing around with some new makeup that I picked up. I know I said I was gonna do a no buy, but then when stuff like this comes out, I can't not buy it. <laughs> We're gonna be trying out some of the I Heart Revolution Disney collection. I picked up the Beauty and the Beast Eye and Face Palette. It looks like this very beautiful obviously I've already kind of used it so this is a little bit of a sneak peek they've also got collections with Cinderella and Princess Tiana Cinderella was blue and I don't really wear that much blue so I skipped out and then Tiana was more green and I don't like wearing green so I picked up the Beauty and the Beast one I also picked up the Beauty and the Beast highlighter because this is the palest shade out of all the ones that were in the collection and then I picked up all of the lashes <laughs> because I couldn't control myself. I also have some pieces from the Mitchell range or Mama Mama Mitchell's range. He's now got his own brand. So I picked up one of the blushes. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. The blush, a, a blush, a, a blush, I, <laughs> you get the picture. And I picked it up in the shade Peach Sugar. And then I also picked up, I think these are all of his eye brushes. So we're gonna be trialing these today. I also picked up the Stiplin blush brush to go with the blush to try it out. It just keeps going. I also picked up the Revolution um, butterfly range that they brought out. So I picked up the highlighter from that, the mascara, and also the lipstick, which come with little rose gold butterfly rings that you can actually like take off and wear if you wanted to. I'm just keeping them on the actual packaging themselves, but it's cute. I just, they really sold me with the butterflies. Don't know this about me, I've got butterflies tattooed on my back, going up my back. They really need to be touched up and I had them done when I was like 18, so they're coming up to like 10 years old now, I think. God, that's not, uh, was that really almost, how many? That was eight years ago. God, I'm getting on, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be playing around with makeup today as we always do on this channel. If you like makeup and stuff, please subscribe. It's always nice to have some new faces around here. The people here are lovely. If you want to, all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next, which is every Friday at the moment. I hope you like the new Christmas background. It's subtle, it's cute, but I like it. But yeah, I'm gonna stop <laughs> dabbling on now. I promise, if you wanna know how these products perform, how they apply, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Let's get started on this beauty. Literally, beauty. <laughs> I'm so funny. Just love the packaging so much. It looks almost like the DVD. I'm kind of stoked about that. <laughs> I'm so glad it looks the same on the inside as it does the outside. I'm thinking like the reds and golds because obviously that's very on theme. And it's very Christmassy too. <laughs> I'm gonna go do this eye and then we'll go through it on this eye together. I feel like this video is gonna be all over the place but I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I've got so far. It's those red cranberry shades with the gold. Yeah, I think it's quite nice. I'm gonna do it on the other eye now. <laughs> Using my Barry M All Night No All Night Long <laughs> All Night Long Concealer. Which honestly it's on its last legs. I just really want to use it up. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've actually like used up a product, so I'm quite proud of myself. Alright, so the first shade I'm going in with is rose, which is pretty much a red, you know, cause red rose. I do kind of wish this had a mirror. That's just a personal preference. Um, obviously I don't know how they would do that. They missed a trick with that though, because they could have done a Beauty and the Beast mirror. That would have been cool. <laughs> so I'm going in with the ME3 brush, which is a little bit more denser than the other ones. They look kind of similar, I'm not gonna lie, but this one is denser. It's good for just like packing on product and then buffing the edges. As you can see, like, 
that is a really decent pigment on the shadow and especially for a red it's pretty much a true red which i rarely see from like drugstore palettes and it's just really pigmented <laughs> and also blendable so good will say so far after doing this eye i do quite like the brushes it's got like a soft matte touch to them which is such a nice detail honestly it feels really nice to hold but when i did first bring them out of the package i was but like hmm I feel like a little bit light and cheap and also they smell like pencils <laughs> because they're made from wood. Now actually like using them and utilizing them, it's just really easy like to use. I'm just wondering about the durability just because they are kind of like wood. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> let's get this eye on, shall we? As you can see, I've just kind of placed the shadow and then lightly buffed out the edges and already it's looking so good. Like the color hasn't disappeared and it hasn't gone patchy. It is such a good red for an affordable eyeshadow palette. Just gonna go in with a little bit more and just re-intensify it, make sure I can see it when I look straight ahead as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the ME2, which is probably the one I'm super excited about because I've got like hooded lids, so I don't have a lot of space for blending work. And this is like a tiny, tiny little blender. And so I was really excited to try this. I'll just show you a side-by-side -side of a popular Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M562. Just so you can see like a little size comparison, it is very similar. It's just a little bit shorter, not so dense. And yeah, just, I was just excited about it, so there you go. If you needed any kind of comparison, if you have that brush, then maybe that'll give you an idea. But let me just blend this shade out. I'm just going over the edges of the red. Oh, I didn't even say what shade I'm using. God, I am all over the place today. I'm going in with the shade Little Town. It's a quiet village every day, like the one before Little Town. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I love you and the be so much. Anyway, so I'm just feathering out that red. I'm bringing it just about halfway to the crease. All of the little people waking up to say Bonjour, bonjour. In fact, I pretty much recite this whole movie. It's, it's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. I just took my nail into one of the freaking blushes. <laughs> By the way, the shade Little Town, it's a little bit more kick than the other shades that I've used. Just to make you aware, that doesn't bother me in the slightest, but just a little bit dusty. It applies decently on the lid. It is just more of like a sheer wash of color, but it works well for a blending color. I've used it on a really fluffy brush, so it'd probably be a bit more intense on an actual packing brush. Now I'm going in with the shade Chip with the same brush, and I'm just gonna dust this through the inner corner just to add a little bit of shadow for a bright yellow shade, you know? This is a really like loofy really soft touch brush and I'm holding it right at the end so I'm getting a really soft application of the color which is what I want this is more of like a burnt orange it's a very pretty color I'm kind of bringing it towards my nose a little bit more because I want to kind of lengthen my eye just a little bit and I'm just merging it into the little town shade I'm sorry I'm gonna do that every single time <laughs> just taking the little town shade and I'm gonna just blend the middle a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mrs. Potts, which is just a cream bone kind of shade. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the brow and over the top of the edges. And I'm literally just gonna blend just a little bit more. And that was pretty blended. I just wanna get like that seamless blend, you know? And I'm just using the same brush. This is gonna be a really handy brush. I probably should have bought more, <laughs> but quite pricey, like at £8.50. And I can get other alternatives. Although this does feel kind of unique, so. I don't know. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go cut my crease with my concealer and then we'll do the lid color together. All right, so I didn't buy any like flat Mitchell brushes. I don't think there was any actually thinking about it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to go in with my own now. The first shade I'm gonna go into, which is honestly one of my favorite shades in here is the shade Petal. It's a gorgeous cranberry raspberry shade. It's beautiful. One thing with this palette is the shimmers aren't that shimmery. They're more of just like a slight sheen, which is kind of disappointing. I love like a chrome looking shimmer, you know, <laughs> but it's pretty color. So I don't mind. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of setting spray just to get that more foiled effect. And I'm just going to continue the rose shade. This is slightly deeper than the rose shade. So I do end up going over it but I just kind of bring it down on an angle and take it towards the inside part of my iris. That is such a pretty 
pretty colour. There's a reflect of purple in there which brings in the more kind of cranberry tone. There's a little bit more depth there compared to the rose shade. I kind of wish I'd just done a look with just this colour. I wanted to try, you know, as many shades as I could for you guys. I may do another video with this, with maybe like the blues and the greys. Please let me know if you would be interested in that, because I think this is a very niche collection. I don't know how many people are going to be out there buying this. I mean, if you're a Disney collector and you really like makeup, you might like me. <laughs> so maybe there's a lot of us. I don't know. I just haven't met a lot of these people, so at the moment I feel like I'm on my own. <laughs> All right, next I'm going in with the shade Beauty. And again, similar kind of story. These feel, mm, they are very dry, like shimmers. Decent amount of pigment though, which is great. But I am going to foil this to get a similar effect. And I'm going to apply this in the inner portion of the lid. Because this is quite a dry formula, I do find that it can look a little bit creepy on the lid. But I'm just adding like a moisturizing setting spray. I'm using the Morphe one. Oh wait, am I? No. God damn it, I've been using the matte one. Oh, that might be why. Okay, just ignore me. Uh, I would suggest maybe using a moisturizing setting spray or water even. And you'll probably get more hydrated lids than mine because I'm just putting matte on top of matte on top of matte. Now I'm going in with the shade Gaston. Now I didn't necessarily need to do this because it's very similar to the cranberry shade we've already got down, but I want to start merging it with the yellow, obviously. I started tapping over the edges. Like these two shades did not really need to be in the palette together. I get why they did it. It's more of like a orange kind of based berry tone next to petal. It's just, there's not that much difference. It's just slightly more orangey. So yeah, I laid that down, realized it wasn't quite doing what I wanted it to do. So then I went over the shade Ballroom, which is more of a gold and I'm going over these edges by here and it just melts in a lot better to the yellow. You know what, I'm just gonna try with a more hydrating mist. I'm gonna use the Shake and Glow by L'Oreal just to see if this is gonna make it more metallic. If it does, I'm gonna kick myself. Let's see. Maybe the smallest amount. It didn't really make that much of a difference, but it does feel that on my lid now <laughs> that I've added a little bit of moisture. Now I'm taking the shade Mrs. Potts um, <laughs> and I'm gonna put this on my inner Corner and kind of bring it up onto the lid just ever so slightly. This is just such a stunning white shade, pearly shade. It's very pretty, very brightening. Like I could probably use this as a highlight, you know. <laughs> Did I say it was shade Mrs. Potts? It, it's magic mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally all over the place. Finally, just to like deepen up the outside corner a little bit, I went in with the shade Beast. There isn't like a deep brown or anything in this palette. There's the gray stuff delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was a bit too cool tone for this look. So I thought I'd just try my bat at a shimmer. I don't use a lot of this. I just kind of pat it on the outer corner. Just kind of wing it out a little bit. It's just to create a little bit more dimension. That's all. Then I'm taking the original brush with Rose and I'm just gonna dab over the edges and blend this out. By the way, I didn't foil the shade or anything because this is just like a deepening shade so I'm just going back in with the ME2 brush and I'm just using Little Town to blend a little bit more. I will admit this was a little bit hard to blend because it's a shimmer so I just went back over with the shade Petal and then I went in with the shade Rose with my little blending brush and that just like finalized it and helped it completely blend but I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt because it is a shimmer shade so that's it for the eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and do my base and then we'll come back try like the blushes and everything like that together so I'll see you guys in a sec I really like this eye look it's pretty <laughs> all right I've completely lost daylight so I'm sorry if the lighting has changed it's really shadowy over here so I've tried to move my light but we're just gonna press on I've finished up this eye over here so I'm just gonna show you how I did it I've done my base my brows I'll list everything in the description box to let you guys know what I'm using so for my lower lash line I first went in with the shade Enchantress <laughs> not the right movie or even studio but yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I like what I did, by the way. I wanted to try some of the other colours in here. So I went in with the shade and I just kind of prayed that it worked out. And it looks okay, but it's 
not my favorite anyway <laughs> i'm just gonna go in with this on the outer corner then i also made sure to pat it on the outer corner on the top lash line just to kind of merge it all together only with the excess i didn't go in with any additional product then i was like hmm was this a good idea? So then I went in with the shade Library and brought it pretty much all the way across the lower lash line. And I just kind of blended those together. Then to merge in some of the warmth, I took the shade Chip and I've just basically gone around the blue. Blended in slightly, but these two don't really blend together. So we just make it work. And I've taken it quite far down, like into the eye bag as well. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the rose shade and I'm just gonna fan out this color a little bit more to blend it all together. And I'm just taking a little bit of Little Town and once again, blending out the edges, blurring it all together. For my waterline, I'm going in with the Beauty Bay Crayon Eyeliner in the shade Ice Lemonade and I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I'm also gonna tight line with a dark brown and then we're gonna try a mascara. The mascara I'm using today is what I thought was Makeup Revolution's Christmas collection, but now I, I don't know. Surely I just bought it because of the packaging. Like if I'm being completely honest, they pulled me in with this one. It's the Revolution Butterfly Lash. It's just so beautiful. And it comes with a little rose gold butterfly. This is actually like supposed to be an adjustable ring that you can wear, but I just want it on this, so. <laughs> <laughs> the actual formula itself, it's very dry right off the bat, which usually I quite like, but because of the wand, it's more like a fluttery, feathery kind of finish, you know, which I think is what they were kind of going for with the whole like butterfly thing. So they wanted it to be more like soft lashes, which is pretty. It's nice for like a day to day mascara, I think. You guys know I love a, a clumpy lash, so <laughs> this is not so much up my alley but it still looks very pretty all right and then lashes i bought every lash <laughs> that came with the collection i've got the bell one which is the one i'm wearing today tiano which is a lot more dramatic it was a toss-up between the bell ones and these ones for today ultimately i felt like they were a bit too dramatic for this look and then i also picked up the cinderella which when i put it on my eye did not look like a lot it looked like more of like a day-to-day -day lash i love the packaging on these lashes they feel like really kind of like luxe it's like a very sturdy kind of cardboard <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna quickly measure these up put them on and be right back all right you guys i'm not gonna lie <laughs> those lashes were a little bit difficult to put on anyway these are the eyes i really like them let's get on to the other products that we're gonna try okay so we're finally getting into the, some of the mama mitchell stuff apart from the brushes i decided to pick up one of the blushes <laughs> just strange name but i try his formula comes in this bright ass neon packaging <laughs> i got the shade peach sugar because i thought it's more neutral it's probably something i'd go towards i was really tempted by the like orangey color that he had but i decided against it <laughs> I also bought the cheek brush that goes with it. This is the MF1. It's like it's really dense, but it does have some give to it. So I think it'd be okay for a blush product. I'm not quite sure of the finish of this. Maybe I'll look that up real quick. Okay, interesting. It's a liquid powder finish. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be pigmented. So I think my best bet is to put it on the back of my hand. It comes with a doe foot. It almost looks like a bit of a whipped formula. So let me just, yeah. I wouldn't really call it like a full liquid blush it's like a whipped blush let's we'll see how this works out i hope this is gonna go okay with the eyes i think it will kind of like a deeper tone of little town so i think we'll be okay so i'm just gonna take what's on the back of my hand and just put a little bit on the brush i'm just gonna relax my face and add a little bit on i set my under eyes but not the actual face this is quite a dense brush for blush it is blending out really easily I think I put it a little high, but that's fine. That's not the product's fault. I do kind of feel like I'm beating my face <laughs> with this brush because it does have give, but you know, it's like sand. If it's like compacted that way, it's gonna feel kind of firm. It is quite bright. And I'm <laughs> like, literally you saw how much product I put on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot, <laughs> but it is not disturbing my foundation at all or anything like that. And it has really sheared out quite well so just kind of worked it into the skin you know I did say that you can go in with your sponge i'm just gonna kind of dull it down just a little bit okay i quite like the formula of that i mm, don't know about the shade i think it might just be the eye makeup is really putting me off maybe my placement wasn't the best <laughs> apart from that it's like completely 
set down on the skin. Definitely like a powder finish. It doesn't feel like a cream blush at all. So that's quite cool. It's kind of a little nifty product. Definitely use it again. Okay, going back to this palette because it actually has face powders in it. I was thinking about trying the shade Maurice. Maurice. Um, as like a bronzer shade. I think it will work as a bronzer. For other people it'll probably be a blush because it is supposed to be three blushes, three kind of highlights. Let's see how this works as a bronzer, shall we? <laughs> it's very dusty. Like it picks up a lot but also kicks off a lot, you know? I think I Heart Revolution's powders are just very powdery. I've tried their loose setting powder, I think it was, and I didn't really get along with that. This is a very light shade maybe it's not gonna work for a bronzer for me i mean it's definitely giving me some color definitely better for more like a natural day i guess it is building though the way that's like sitting though is really nice it's not patchy it's gone on really nicely but this is a very fair shade so i also want to try one of the blushes probably gonna have to be the bottom one isn't it i think that one's gonna be the best one so dusty <laughs> whenever i tap off anything it just boom, like goes and disappears in the air. I'm gonna take a really like soft brush to kind of just go over the blush slightly because I don't want to be all blush, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of set it even though it's self setting. That's definitely giving me color. God, how pigmented are these? Because I literally have barely anything on my brush. And literally this is like such a floofy, like soft brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit up here. I know this has highlights. Um, but only really one of them would work, which is going to be this one right here. And it's almost virgin on green. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pass on the highlights from here, but I do have the highlight from the collection. So <laughs> I want to try this one again. It comes in beautiful packaging. It is very bulky. Like this is bulkier than the palette. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, why is that? Does that really need to be done? There's the one highlight in here and it's bulkier than a palette that has loads. So I'm gonna try it anyway. A tale of enchantment. <laughs> this is a very white gold and obviously I'm very fair so it's probably gonna work well for me. Let me feel it. Oh, this is a little bit softer. Still very, very powdery and as you can see, there's so much pigment to this. Highlight doesn't necessarily need like pigment. Very uh, like chalky. Hopefully it'll melted to the skin, it kicks up quite a bit. <laughs> well, that just left my brush. Okay, I'm gonna try not to dust off too much because it literally just puffs off. <laughs> so, let's see what this goes on like, shall we? Okay, it does almost like melt into the skin, which is good. It is very golden, which is kind of what you would expect with this collection. It's not so much glittery. It almost looks like if I was to take a microfine like pigment and then put it on my skin it's kind of not textured but it looks like a shimmer it's almost like when you would get one of those shimmer brushes if you're like a 90s kid you know what i mean <laughs> and you like put them on your skin it just leaves like a shimmer but you can almost like see your skin texture i guess there is like a touch of sparkle but it's not like actual chunks of glitter or anything i don't know if you guys can see it's pretty it's not gonna be a go-to i can tell you that it's more of like a lit from within which is very on brand for beauty and the beast it's definitely given a slight cast so if you're <laughs> if you're any deeper than me uh hmm this mm, this would not work for you because it's gonna leave a really big cast. I'm just gonna take my blush brush and try and dull the cast a little. I may just try this over top, cause why not? <laughs> this is the Revolution Glamorous Highlighter. It was brought at the same time that the Butterfly collection was. I haven't actually looked at this yet to see if it's gonna be fair enough. Packaging is cute. It looks like dead on my skin tone. <laughs> Let's just put it on my face, like on the high points and see what this looks like. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is intense. Okay, this has also got a little bit of a cast, or is it just merging with the other one? I don't know. I don't think this one has a cast. It's just the other one. It's kind of putting me off. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little bit of this to highlight like the rest of my face. I don't think I could deal with like a golden nose or anything. <laughs> one last thing I've got to try. It's the Revolution Butterfly Lipstick. And again, they pulled me in with the packaging. This is what I mean by the way, the actual butterfly like comes off. You can wear it 
if you wanted to. I should probably line my lips, but I'm not going to. <laughs> nice peachy, virgin on pinky kind of nude. This is like a very everyday color for me. I think I'm definitely gonna wear this quite a lot, actually, think about it. It's a matte finish, not drying at all though, which is nice. I like this, it's a pretty color. I don't know if it goes with today's look, but it's really comfortable. I almost forgot. <laughs> I got this luminous setting spray from Morphe that I wanted to try. Not that I need any more glow right now. Let me just do a... Ooh, don't know if you guys saw that. Such a fine mist, yes please. Okay, let me try this. Did anything happen? Ooh, that's good. But literally, I don't, I don't feel anything on my face. Let me try again. Oh, good. Whew. It's very fragranced, jeez. It does feel good on the skin. It's almost like too fine, where you can't feel it going on your skin. I like to kind of feel my setting spray a little bit more like the continuous one, because it just feels like it's actually going on your skin. <laughs> and yeah, that fragrance is kind of staying around. I think it's added a little bit of a glow. I think you can see like a bit more of a sheen, especially to my forehead. It seems quite nice. It is given like a luminous finish. I don't look, you know, like oily, which is nice. I think that's everything. I feel like I need to contour, but I think I might skip out on it. We don't need to be chiseled every day, do we? No, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> do my hair um, and then we'll talk about my final thoughts. The story ends there, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so I did something with my hair. But yeah, this is the finished makeup. I really like the way it's turned out overall. I really like the eyes. As far as the products, I do quite like the palette. They are quite powdery. Pigment's decent though, and they blend like a dream, so it's not too bothersome. I do wish the shimmers were more shimmery. <laughs> But it's very soft makeup and I feel like it's very user-friendly. These highlights I didn't try, so let me just... They feel a similar formula to the one I did try. They feel similar to the eyeshadows, just kind of like a little bit dry and a little bit dusty. <laughs> but it's nice to have a few options, I guess. The blushes in here seem quite pigmented, so just bear that in mind. I tapped off a lot of product and still I got product on my skin, so... <laughs> Obviously I used the Maurice shade to kind of do a little bit of perimeter bronzing. Right now I'm really washed up because I've lost complete daylight so I'm just using my softbox. It's like burning my eyes. <laughs> you can't really see like a lot of dimension. You might be able to on this side because it's a little bit more shaded. Yeah, I didn't mind that for bronzer. That would be good for like a daily bronzer for me because it's very light and the actual tone of it is quite nice. The overall thing of it is if you're a Disney fan, you're probably gonna buy this regardless. <laughs> It's a collector's item for me, 100%. And I do love some of these shades, like this petal shade. It's gorgeous. The highlighter, the formula is not my favorite, um, but the packaging is beautiful. It's just very powdery, very dusty, leaves a cast. I have a feeling this would work for like something like a blurring powder. Like that's the kind of way it feels. It almost feels like a finishing powder, but I might try it for that to see if it works better as like a finishing overall glow product because it is a very lit from within kind of glow. The lashes, now I've only tried the one pair. So far, I don't like them. I've had to stick down the insides twice. I can't remember the last time I've ever had to do that with lashes. My eyelash glue that I usually use is Duo, the little green one. I've never had any issues with any other lashes. I think it's just the way the band is. It's a very thin, plasticky, clear band. It's almost like a rubber band, you know, those ones they used to get for like your hair. That's kind of what it feels like, but a little bit stiffer. So it moves freely, like around the eye, but that also means it doesn't conform, really. It, it, I don't know. I'm willing to try the other ones. The Princess Tiana ones, I think they've got a thicker band and I quite like the style of these. Those were eight pounds as well, I think. So it'd be cheaper to get either. <laughs> or you could pay like two pound extra and get like doll beauty. I don't think it's worth it. I think you can get better ones, okay. <laughs> the Mitchell stuff, I do quite like the brushes. Soft touch matte is really nice. The bristles are really soft. I especially love this little one. I knew I would. <laughs> it's just perfect for blending for my eyeshadow. Shape. These two other brushes, I feel like they look exactly the same. I did use this one um, when I did this eye, but then I didn't bother because I felt like I didn't need it. The one I used predominantly was ME3. The ME3 compared to the ME1 is just firmer. Pretty much the like 
exactly the same shape. This one's just got a little bit more flumps to it. I don't feel like you'd need both of these. I picked up the product really nicely. I didn't have any problems with shedding or anything like that. Obviously it's early days, but the bristles seem pretty nice. And then the other brush, the blush brush, I could give it a take it. It just is a little bit harsh for me. I just typically prefer something like this that is just a little bit more gentle. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop stipple brush. It just feels softer on the skin. I guess ultimately it just depends on your preference of brush. Even though this is called a liquid blush, it's a thicker consistency, so it's almost a whipped cream blush. It does set down really nicely, but I do really like the formula of this. Look forward to using this more. Last two things, it's the mascara. Um, <laughs> I think I'll get some use out of it. Like just if I'm pretty much wearing like zero makeup and I'm just like putting on some brow gel and mascara, I can opt for this because it does give a very nice fluttery lash. Um, but it's not my favorite. You guys know, I like my mascaras. <laughs> The lipstick from the same collection, I do really like actually. It's so comfortable and I really like the colour as well, it's a nice nude. It's something I would wear daily. I'd probably wear a lip liner with it because I do feel like my lips look a little flat. The actual formula is really nice and the packaging is so cute. I love this little butterfly chrome moment. Oh, I almost forgot the highlighter from the same collection. I mean this looks like Makeup Obsession. Don't they have impresses like this on their highlighters? The actual shade is nice. It is quite blinding. It doesn't leave a cast. It's a nice formula. It's a little bit drier than what I like. Like I love Ofra's formula and I really like the XX Revolution highlighter. I don't think this is that much cheaper either. Anyway, I've rambled on for way too long. <laughs> that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you love Disney and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up so I know. Am I the only crazy makeup and Disney person out there? Please tell me I'm not. <laughs> If you're new, I'd love it. If you subscribed, all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button. That'll just notify you when I upload, which at the moment is every Friday. Apart from last week where I uploaded five days in a row for my Halloween week, if you missed those, the playlist will be at the end for you guys. But yeah, I hope I see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. I'm so excited to decorate Christmas. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Here's why she means Prince Charming. I wanna love me the way you love me. But I'm pretty and I love you too. I'd like to see me from your point of view. How would you guys feel if I did some singing covers on this channel? Would that not be okay because this is about makeup? Would you guys enjoy that? Please let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do a cover for the holidays. I don't know. <laughs> okay, bye.